So today we get to add some color to our bisque ware. Clay that has been fired in the kiln is bisque. It's completely hardened. All of the moisture has gone away. It's shrunk a little bit and it's ready to be glazed and underglazed. So this is an underglaze, which means color that we put on before we glaze it. In between colors of glaze, we rinse our brush really well in a big water bucket, squeeze that water out, and blot it on a paper towel. So now that I've finished with one color, I'm ready to move on to another. I really get all of that extra water out of my brush so that it isn't watery for the next color that I paint. If, you, if it seems like it's watery, you can work on blotting your brush some more. So here I am swishing and pouncing my brush in the bucket, blotting it to get it very dry once more, and ready to switch to a new color. I did kind of a green band around the neck. And here I am getting another color and beginning to brush it onto my duck figurine. This is a dry paint, so you can't paint very slow, but you take your time and get it all over the sections. Notice I'm not overlapping. And now, any place where the paint looks thin or kind of light, or there's some white specks showing, you can go back and do a second coat over that underglaze that is already drying. Underglaze dries very quickly, and you want to paint your piece using at least two layers of color so that they're nice and bright. So this is showing you that I'm adding color to all but the bottom. The bottom of my piece will not have anything on it. Leave it empty so that it will not stick to the kiln shelf when it's fired. So make sure you do not glaze or underglaze the bottom of your duck. That's all. Have fun.